they haven't joined us yet. They will in a while. We welcome all those who are joining us also online. And now let's take a moment to quiet down ourselves and our hearts as we prepare to encounter the real presence of a loving God, especially in the Son He sent, Christ Jesus. And let's think about all the prayers we lift up to Him, praying especially for the whole world and for all who are victims of calamities like the recent earthquake and also the continuing struggle against the pandemic. We remember more and more our parish family and pray for our country as it struggles continually, especially for those whose lives are altered. Let us pray for those who continue to fight against this disease, the frontliners, the first responders, and all those who provide the essential services, especially for the needy and the poor. Today, on the sixth day of our of the octave of Christmas, we look forward to the encounter not just with Simeon, but this time with Anna, the prophetess. Our entrance song is A Little Town of Bethlehem. A little town of Bethlehem, how still we see the light of the deep and sleep sleep, the silent stars go by, yet in the dark street shineth the everlasting light, the hopes and fears of all the years I met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary, and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep the watch of wandering love. While morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praise sing to God the King and peace to all on earth. <coughs> In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we realize constantly how our self-examination and humble reception of God's mercy and compassion prepares us for this celebration. <clears throat> you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Kyrie eleison. You forgive our sins, Christe Eleison. Christe Eleison. You came to redeem the world, Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. 
We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. <clears throat> you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free, for recent servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Try, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know who, him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away, but whoever does the will of God remains forever. The Word of the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let's be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him, all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple and worshiped night and day, fasting 
and prayer. And coming forward at that time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who are awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God's fidelity has been manifested so many times to the Israelites' people, even at the very first beginning in the Gen book of Genesis, at the story of creation, God immediately showed his fidelity and unconditional love for his people when he immediately gave the promise of the good news, the promise of the Messiah, the Proto-Evangelium. And God fulfilled that up to the very season that we are in celebrating at this moment, which is the birth of the Savior, the Nativity. Anna and Simeon did not receive any revelation from the angel. They did not receive a choir, they did not witness a choir of angels saying, Glory to God in the highest. But what made them aware, what made them uh, open their eyes, what made them, what gave them the encounter with the Lord was their fidelity was their faith and hope and know and, and in the knowledge and the promise of God that he will send his Messiah. And because of their fidelity, God responded to this fidelity by allowing them to have that distinct and personal encounter with our Savior. Simeon yesterday being able to hold the child in his hands. Anna today being able to witness the very person, the very child, the very Messiah that she has been hoping and praying for when she stayed in the temple as a widow day in and day out. It just shows that before God, suffering and pain is, that is born and that is also that one person uh, accepts with faith and hope in God is never meaningless in the eyes of God, that God knows what we truly need and what we truly pray for. Nine months we have already been struggling. 2020 is supposed to be, uh, when, when you have a good vision, you say you have 2020 vision, right? 2020, I mean, we, we, were, we were led to a different kind of vision about life and perspective about who we are, perspective about how we relate with each other. And I do hope as the 2020 ends, we may have gained something from the alternative vision that God is providing for us. He gave Simeon and Anna a vision of who this child is going to be. Every time we gather at the Eucharist, we not only have a vision of our Lord in His real presence, but the vision, the encounter becomes more intimate because he assumes once again our humanity when we receive him in Holy Communion. He, he be, makes himself part again of who we are. And that is something that should, we should all be grateful about and we should always value and should always help us in our struggles through life. Everybody have their own different struggles. And we can never compare our own to others because each one is unique. But the important thing is that we learn from Simeon and Anna that fidelity. That even though sometimes we, we are discouraged, even though sometimes we are let down, even though sometimes even in our own uh, physical uh, capacities give way, then we should always trust in the Lord that we should always believe in Him. Because the encounter that is given to us, especially in the Eucharist, is beyond vision, it's beyond the mere touch, but it's an intimate encounter in which Jesus again embraces who we are. Jesus becomes part 
of our humanity. So let's pray for these holy people who set the example for us. Let us pray for people whom we know that gives also to us the inspiration, the encouragement, and the example that we need. I would say St. Simeon and Anna, pray for us. The prophetess Anna offered her whole life in the Lord's service and never grew tired of worshiping God day and night. Let us offer to the Father our own prayers. Our response, God of our hopes, hear our prayer. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That the church may be able to offer to God a fitting worship and be faithful in bringing to God the needs of the people in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That government leaders may be able to render quality services to their constituents for the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That those called to the ministries of the church may serve God with a willing and blameless heart. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer that the sick and those who are persecuted may offer to God their trials and sacrifices as a fitting worship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That the dead may join the saints and the angels in heavenly worship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones, and we pray for those whom this, for whom this Mass is intended, the eternal repose of the souls of Santiago Corral, Jose Jaramillo, and Manuel Alcantara. We lift up to the Lord the intentions we have received online. We pray for the intentions of Matthew Gerard de Leon, Father Juvi Chrysostomo, Brother Joseph Tassani, we pray for the health, strength, and healing needed by Petra and Rodrigo Flores, for Keith Pins, for the Camus family, for Jope Tabernilla, for Lucia Herrera, for John Safka, for Rafael Chavez, for Alondra Aguilar, for AJ and the Garcia family. And we remember our dearly departed Abel Lopez, Marcelino Donides, Ramon Alon Alon, Sandy McAdams, and Delia Tiglao Balilas. We also remember to pray for the intentions we place in the Arco Prayer Chest, as well as those unspoken in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. God, God of our hopes, hopes, hear our prayer. God our Father, you have made us for yourself. Help us to give you fitting honor by the lives we live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for it's your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Prayed, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. From the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time. So that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abarath. Plenis in celi et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Story of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit.
Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, Saint Simeon and Anna, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through whom and with you, many in whom, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Am is Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Am is Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Am is Dei. Quitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon, from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Let us now in solidarity with our sisters and brothers pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work we pray the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Once again, a reminder that tomorrow, our holy hour and adoration will be immediately after the 6 a.m. Mass. And on Friday, on the Solemnity of uh, Mary, the Mother of God, and uh, New Year's Day, we will have the 
at holy hour and adoration immediately following the 8 a.m. Mass. We now pray to our loving Mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and to the our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is the first Noel. The first Noel the angel did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay. In fields where they lay they give in the sheep and a cold winter's night that was so deep. No, well, no, well, no, well, no, well. Born is the king of Israel. No, well, no, well, no. Born is the King of Israel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Welcome. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should end under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Father of Christ.